Hey there, everyone. That sexy nerd is back again. What are we expecting from this episode, man, from this finale? Well, um, fucking amazing this already, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at what we saw last time. Now everybody's like, oh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show was, is, is good now. I don't understand. This show was good. Like, it never got me bored. I did feel like the book of Boba Fett. For some reason, like, most of the fan base were like, yeah, this shit is boring, blah, blah, blah. But then it got to a certain episode in the middle of the series that, you know, everybody was like, woo! But yeah, I um, I, I expect we'll finally see the uh, fight between Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi, the real fight. Yeah. Yeah, so um, maybe we'll see Qui-Gon Jinn. Maybe we'll see. I hope Jinn. we see something, yeah. I yeah. hope so. I, you know, because we've been waiting to see him. Um, I've given up hope that we're going to see any of the other extended characters in this. There's a lot of characters that, that Obi-Wan could run into. There's the Bad Batch. There's the uh, there's the kid from Fallen Order, from the video games. Um, I, I'm, I'm really curious to see how Obi-Wan's going to get away and actually kind of sort of teach Vader a lesson. I mean, really, I, I don't even like to speculate on this one. Really, I just want to be completely surprised. And I want to see what happens, you know? I'm quite keen to see what they do with the story arc for Reva. You know, she had that video message. Yes. Um, now she's going to find a way there. Do they just leave it at that and let her fade away for now until maybe the next season? Or do we get to see a little bit more of, of a plan? How does she recover from being stabbed by the lightsaber? But most importantly, we've got to see the most epic battle because I feel like that last episode with Vader just you know, using all of his masterful force powers against Reva with the lightsaber, we've really been set up for like an epic battle. So we've got to see something of like real epic proportion, surely. What do you reckon? Should we get into it? Yes, yes, we should. Yes, we should. All right, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Something you want to say? This idiot again. Yeah. Wait your turn. Oh. There she is. I'm looking for a former. Wow. Oh, shit. Yeah. We are straight into it. it. They're straight into it. Too. Hey! Look at that. Yeah. Dude, they're freaking doing it. This is so good. Star Wars music. Finally. Wicked. Move all power to the rear shields. We're not going to make it to Tessin, are we? How much time do you need? More than we have. Yes, to confront Anakin now. No. It definitely does. I'm scared. Yes. Maybe I should borrow her too. Howdy. Oh no, look! What do you need, kid? We need to this, Peter. Luke! Somebody broke the last one. I'm immediately oh, suspicious wait. that that guy just walked in. There's something you need to know. No, no, wait! Problems. Don't leave me here! I'm the one that Vader won. Roken needs more time to fix the ship. This will give him that time. You've spent ten years protecting the Jedi. This is my chance to return that favor. Oh, you're what needs to survive. No. Just you must promise me that you get her home, Hodger. Although I know the word of a liar and a fake Jedi may not mean much to you. Good enough for me. Awesome. He's more than proven himself anyway. Hey, that was nice. nice I mean, he's, he stood up to Reva to, to distract her, and that's that took guts. Hey. Look, we're finally seeing Baru. Oh, she's coming. What? Ben is gone. Whose fault is that? Yeah, yours, you idiot. Hey, Luke, can hide somewhere. Where? What? Whoa! I love it. My doctor. Gotta get word from the boss lady. You said you'd take me home. Please tell your father I tried. She would have wanted you to have it. No, oh, Tala. It's empty. In 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> she really wanted to learn how to shoot. <laughs> oh, is this the last time they're going to see each other? I promise. I wonder if this is their last meeting until 
a new that's hope. What I was saying. She just yeah. saw him and then he died. Yeah, that's right. I have to face him, Master. People follow you. Don't stop. I love where they've taken everyone's character, man. I just don't know where this guy's going. I thought he would be like with Saw Guerrero or something. We're tracking him in an escape craft. There's one life form aboard. That's him. Follow Kenobi. At once, Lord Vader. It's so cool to see his, see his single-mindedness in his mission. <laughs> You're still shooting at it? Come on. Reaver's actually tough, man. She's a survivor. The Tuscans are on the hunt again. If anything goes wrong, you you know what to do. You run. I'm not afraid. I know. The Jedi will never be afraid. <laughs> I started off hating her character, but now I love it. to destroy me, Obi-Wan. I will do what I must. <laughs> awesome. Come on, man. Let's do it. Come on. Cut in the middle of the action. I feel like he's just going to play with Vader for a bit. She's actually badass. Awesome, they're putting up a fight, man. They're pretty good. Yeah. Well, I remember she's injured, so. Oh. Wicked. Your strength has returned, but the weakness still remains. <laughs> <laughs> He's not leaving anything to chance. Look at him. <laughs> He's... Oh no! You have failed. I don't know, Vader. You look like you're tired. That's all he needed, though, just to distract them long enough so the ship could get away. You really love the boy. Like he's your own. He is my own. She can't move as fast as Luke at the moment. I didn't know Luke had encounters at this age. Mean. Oh, he's fighting for them too. Yeah. Awesome. God sent. <laughs> oh shit. Obi Wan's not playing. He is firing that shit at him. This is cool, man. Oh, okay. I'm starting to like the music a little bit. pissed he's had enough oh shit oh, Vader, you got beat man wow I left you I was about to learn holy shit we're gonna hear Hayden Christensen yeah look at him 
Anakin. Oh, yes. Anakin's <sighs> gone. Yo, his eye remains. I'm sorry, Anakin. I am not your failure. Now he can be at peace. Luke said the same thing at the end of Return of the Jedi, but he never truly believed it. Yo, that just got me in the heart, man. Yeah, Luke Vader, you got cut up. Wow. Obi-Wan could have crushed him if he'd wanted to. And Obi-Wan just beat the crap out of Vader. <laughs> Damn. Holy sh... Oh, he's got all of his powers back, hasn't he? All the sensitivity, the whole lot. Why? What is the point, lady? Yeah. She already knows what it feels like. Happened to her, why would she do it? Can't do it. That's a nice shot. I look in the dune sea. We'll search till we find him. Ben. <sighs> oh man, I'm so sorry. I really thought he was gonna die there. <laughs> Showing mercy, you have honored them. Have I become him? No, no, you have chosen not to. Who you become now, it is up to you. You know, it's really, really sad. <laughs> uh, emotional scenes in this episode. I'm, I know, right? Oof. System within range. Ooh, the Emperor. Agitated, my friend. I wonder if your thoughts are clear on this. I serve only you, my master. <laughs> Boy, look at the <laughs> this is so good. I know. Finally, it's about time. Perfect. I'm glad it's here, though. The Emperor is wise. I really shouldn't be thinking that. Ah, the boots. I remember those boots. She'll take her duties a little more seriously now. <laughs> <laughs> this little girl is such a cool Aww. actor. Young lady, we don't want to... <laughs> is that a holster? I love it. You said there were many ways to oh. lead. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to want to change a few things. And we'll change things together. So who is it today? More cousins? <laughs> Yay, you brought Lola back! Who am I to separate a young lady from her droid? We can never repay you. No, you can't. We've already done that. Well, if you ever need my help again, you know where to find me. Princess Leia Organa. You are wise, kind-hearted. These are qualities that came from your mother, but you're also passionate and fearless. And these are gifts from your father. Both were exceptional people. You don't have to. Will I ever see you again? If you ever need help from a tired old man, <laughs> but you must be careful. Goodbye. Goodbye, princess. May the force be with you. Wicked. You know, I made this damn music! Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Aw, oh, the T-16. Nice. 
nicest looking cave ever. Luke. Oh, wow, look at him. He looks sharp, doesn't he? I thought you were going to keep your distance. The only protection he needs now, Owen, is you and Baru. You want to meet him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's just so good, man. Oh, he got the T-16. Hello there. Huh. There he is. Dude. I called it. I called it. I called it. <laughs> hmm. oh, my God. Well, oh. took you long enough. Beginning to think you'll <sighs> never come. I was always here, Obi-Wan. You just... We're not ready to see you. Uh, Come on. You've got a ways to go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, that's so good, man. So Brilliant. Funny. Oh, there's some beautiful things in this world and that episode, man. That... <laughs> That episode was great, you know? I, mean, I thought it was mind-blowing, man. I, I can't be remiss to say that I think it would even please, like, even the most diehard Star Wars fan, you know? I mean, I'm sure people are going to be like, uh, uh, but you can't take it. Just like you couldn't take away from the last episode, you definitely can't take away from this one. Yeah, the writing gets better and better on these shows. Like, the way that they are able to put so much detail and so much emotion and so much character depth into just one episode, man. I mean, this was like a sort of feature length movie style kind of storytelling in a single episode. It was amazing. Yeah. They said that this is, you know, now Disney backpedaled or something like that. Now they're saying like, yeah, this is the next star Wars movie. <laughs> just make it a damn movie. Then that, that was an amazing finale, man. I can't believe what I just saw, but I feel like the Vader fight was, slightly underwhelming but i think that's only because it didn't have duel of the fates like i was promised duel of the fates in the trailer <laughs> especially when they open up with uh their return of uh, revenge of the sith quotes from right before they they fight yeah 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 i i was like i was gonna be like dun, 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 dun. yeah but I will say, though, the music was not bad. Yeah, it still had, uh, you know, uh, familiar music in some of the parts where it counted, you know. It was good. I think that Vader fight was, you know, to me, it was about the tactics. It was about showing, I mean, there was a flip change, wasn't there? In the beginning, Obi-Wan seemed to be fighting with anger, like the very thing he had told Anakin not to do. And then it flipped back around, and I sort of feel like it was showing that, although Anakin had all this power and aggression behind him, at the end of the day, Obi-Wan was still the tactician, you know? It was, it was awesome. Awesome. To be fair, Anakin kind of also is a tactician, but... So, let's say Obi-Wan is Napoleon when he first started out. He planned out every move meticulously. He did it uh, quickly. And then Anakin was Obi uh, was uh, Napoleon at the end. Like, you know, right. close to around the time he lost. He was just telling his men go run at the enemy and try not to die. Yeah, he thinks fast on the fly, doesn't he? Uh, especially, I think, since, like, some of the episodes that I've seen in the Clone Wars, even the two that we actually saw, they're kind of up uh, antithesis to each other, you know? Right. Uh, that their relationship is a lot deeper than, you you know, it makes it appear. And, you know, it even, it, it, not to take away from the prequels, but it does, like, a, a lot of other medium has done it better showed their relationship. I think this 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 show actually showed their relationship a lot better than the than any of the prequels did, you know? Um except for maybe Revenge of the Sith, but you know, even still, it was absolutely great to see all these these this this kind of like how the ebb and flow of both of them work. Like especially even in episode 5 when they're both uh fighting with each other, they're both uh training, you can see how each one they're fighting. Obi Wan, uh, like thinks and mm. and you know is is more tactful with his approach. And Vader always has been like you know jump first. We're we're gonna you know so it's, yeah yeah. I mean, 
he doesn't spend a lot of time thinking about the stuff. He'll just see something, and if it's intimidating and it works against the enemy, both can work. Obviously, yeah, exactly, he, exactly. Uh, was is very successful, and he in the he's the way he is. Yeah, they, it, it's also why Vader gets into a lot of trouble. Yeah, and I think to be fair too, he had, yeah he had a whole lot of emotion going into that battle. You know what I mean? Even more so than he usually would when he's at his best. You know, he had so much emotion, so much. Uh, revenge and everything on his mind and, and probably so much hurt as well it was interesting to see at the end there when he was talking and he was you know and he said to everyone you didn't kill anakin skywalker i did you know just to see that clarity that he knew what he was doing the whole time that he was at peace with it but at the same time it gave obi-wan a bit of peace as well to realize that it didn't all just happen about and come about it was actually very clear going into it that that was the side he was going to go for. You know, he was going to choose the dark side. You saw Vader, how crazy he was there. Yeah. Right? Like that, that, that sent chills down my spine a little. Bit. Yeah, man. I was like, ooh, Vader, you screwed up, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got some stuff going on, eh? And I'm so glad Hayden Christensen came back to drive that point home. Because, again, I think the prequels were missing that slightly or something. Oh, an amazing episode, man. It's just amazing. So much emotion in it. Yeah, so much. Like, serious. I, I, I started tearing up a little bit a couple of times, man. It was, it, was, it, it was a roller coaster and everything. Yeah, I love the way that they had those final bits, especially at, at the end when Obi-Wan walked up to Luke and said, well, hello there. <laughs> I was like, hello there. And I like, no. That was, <laughs> of course, you know what you guys did there. Everybody's going to go nuts. <laughs> it was so well done, man. <laughs> Liam Neeson comes out and everything, like, just like I told you, I was like, man, <laughs> you know, I kind of want to see what the hell, how the hell you learn how to be a force ghost. Apparently, in both Legends and Canon, being a force ghost was unknown to the Jedi. But then again, the Jedi never were about seeking immortality because, yeah, it'd be mm. the path to the dark side. So, I mean, you know, Qui-Gon was like, my Liam neeson this like, just got <laughs> so in tune with everything. No, he probably threatened the Force God and was like, I will find you. I will find you. And then it's like, find your Force ghost. I mean, everything, all in one episode. Unbelievable, man. It was. To see Palpatine, to see... Um... Why gone? That's so awesome. Yeah, it was. I, I, I was like, I, man, if Liam Neeson does not show up there, they lied to us. And I'm like, yep, yep, there he is. Yeah, it's just made me fall in love with Star Wars all over again watching this episode. Right. Yeah, I guess oh, the whole series, yeah. Next thing that we're going to be watching, we're going to be watching the Clone Wars movie. So that's about that time in the timeline. So right. that's the next Star Wars media that we're going to be doing. So I hope you... And I hope everyone else here is all excited to go and see it because I sure as hell am. There was anything else you wanted to talk about with the episode or? Oh, um, Reva. What are they going to do with her now? Like, what is she going to end up with Ray and stuff like that? Is she going to be an old lady and she's going to teach her some Star Wars stuff? Or maybe she'll even pop up in the Ahsoka series. Who knows? I believe the Mandalorian season three is coming out first. Wicked. But they're already starting to show pictures and stuff with like Mando, Mando and Grogu like walking around. I think Mandalore and stuff like that. Cool. There's there's a lot of stuff Reva could possibly show up in. But uh, yeah, man, it's been a it's been a real blast having you on, watching this man, and hearing all about it from your uh, point of view and with your knowledge on on Star Wars and everything. I've really enjoyed that. It's been real cool. Yeah, man, I, I love this episode. It just made the show so much better, and I never lost faith. Honestly, unlike some of you Star Wars fans, <laughs> they just keep uh, making them better, don't they? Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought again, me, I'm easy to please, though. Very cool, man. Very cool. This is this has been that sexy nerd reacts, and. Uh, He's the Iron Beast remix. <laughs> it's been good. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this with us. Um, I've definitely enjoyed watching this with my buddy Matt there. As usual, I'll put his links down below so that um, you can get across there and check out his content. He's got some really cool stuff on there. It's been a blast, man. But I think that's going to be it for us. Yeah, that's it, All right. Man. Until the next uh, episode of Clone Wars or whatever it is we're, we're going to watch, we're out of here. All right.